afternoon. <coughs> um, fuck you, we're up there. Um, got fuck off with Posty, so. Um, I'll just do this video about Sacred Reich, then. Fuck it. Alright. Uh, four piece band, Bay Area, I think. Fucking amazing. I've liked them since then. Killer band. Um, I've got CDs and fucking vinyls. I've only got a few of the CDs, so I'll just show them first. Get them in me. Um, I figured this was good value for money, so I bought it. It's a three disc fucking thing. Ignorance. Ignorance and three covers. And the Surf Nicaragua ET. And an EP and the demos. So. I'll just get a quick look at them because it's so different fucking artwork and shit than the fucking albums. Show us again. Right. Yeah, I think the book was just got fucking coming with some lyrics in it, aren't they? Right, so I just fucking just lyrics. Blah blah blah. It's a DVD. No, that was. Aye, oh, this is a DVD. It's all fucking molested, weird. Well. Uh, Nah, it's just fucking regular shit and liner notes about the fucking hell thing. That ain't fucking special. Right, so, that being said. Why? Oh, yeah. You know. Another live album. Still in it. That's pretty good. Um, line up change out of the last edition, aren't it? No, Jason Riley. Jason Riley, isn't it? It's Jason Song. As far as I could say, that's fucked up. Jason Rainey. I knew it was Rainey or Riley or something. No, he was on here. Yeah, he looked different. So, it's just that really. Um, it's a cool DVD, uh, CD, it's pretty good live. 13 tracks, uh, that's a fair. Alright, on the main shit. Uh, <coughs> so, first, uh, PVC Bidon. Uh, this is a debut. Probably my second favourite debut in all that first band. Fucking killing for business with Megadeth and then this. Just faultless, this album is fucking amazing. This is an old version. I got this for a present off a mate. So it's been well fucking. It's been well used. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Greg Hall with a soccer mom here, cut. <laughs> fucking beast of drama. Ignorance, uh, fucking excellent. Right, and then there's a stop guard release. Surf Nicaragua, four track EP. There's an OG version as well. Uh, better neck than Ignorance. Metal Blade Riders. They seem splits are fucking in. Yeah. 
Lord it clear. Got back in the day you could buy a road runner, a road runner tape. I mean I think you're in fucking surfing a grog with pinned in the end of it. That was the version I got first. Fucking whatever it was, 35 years ago. Fucking get it all. Alright, so and then the uh So, ha, there was a right one, a live one, a live at Dino. Surfing at Ragua, Vances and War Pigs and Death Squad. It's fucking great. I used to have a CD of this back in the day, but fucking, it got sold. OG version as well, really good nick. Lost and grumble. Uh, and then fucking screaming, that's pretty good. The American way. This album's good as well. Here's a fun fact for you. I bought this on eBay about 20 years ago. And uh, I can't get the order part where you, you, it tells you what you've just ordered and shit. The, the, the seller's info. Well, oh, it said, fuck, it says it here, isn't it? I can show you it does. No, it did. Maybe I made that up in my brain. Um, no, but on the fucking, on the eBay receipt, he said his name was Mitch Dickinson. I was like, I can't that fucking name. And I remembered, he's a guitar player, it was an unseen terror. You know, fucking Eric Van, so he'd be Shane Embry on drums, in fucking 1987 or whatever it was. Uh, so I fucking said to him, I go, say, hey, you fucking, uh, Mitch for fucking Unseen Terror. And he's like, fucking hey dude. He goes, you're a fucking well-trained extreme metal commando. Oh, that's me. <laughs> he's like, fuck me. Oh, well. oh, anyway, I digressed again. I'm back away. 1990, excuse me. Good album. But it, it, it slowed it down a bit. I'm still with most of it, a little bit of his speed, but it's still a good record. Road Racer Records. It's an album there gets mentioned, is it? Whether that's because of fucking the quality of the record or the oh, fuck off. Or uh, just because everybody's butt hurt about how there's some garden cunts that are coming to go in the 80s. It's sort of fucking metal blade. Yeah. It's got some good riffs in it, shit. A couple of good songs. Very 
I've never fucking lived up to Edwin's. In my eyes, anyway. And I've got fucking better than 2020 version, according to the fucking optician. Beat that, fuckers. Ah, shit. And then nineteen ninety six I think. Nineteen ninety six heel. Ah, fucking pay three notes for a second. Uh think you next one. I actually like this album, I like, I like the better than Heel. Um, uh, uh, it's really fucking good, but I, I never got lost to the fucking. Well, this came out, it was a fucking techno thing. So I never got to hear it now. But. No, uh, fucking. Decent. It still fucking got the fast bits on it, isn't it? But fucking. It's not the original lineup. No, that's right, because Greg, Greg, Greg Hall left it. And you've got Dave McLean. It's only him that's since Sigurd Rick again, isn't it? I think I've seen him fucking a couple of years ago, just before Covid, man. <laughs> now, I was cunting on MDMA, but while they are not the guitar player, he was pulling more fucking faces than I was. <laughs> Mental. Right, and then the fucking, the, the slap, Phil went up far as fuck, and then he started doing gigs again, um, and I've got a DVD, live, live, I think it's live at Vakin, and it's the original lineup, and the fucking, it's faultless, it's fucking, just not a note out, but it's just sounds fucking perfect, and the fucking drummer's a beast, but he's left again. So, uh, this came out. I was fucking salivating it, fuckers. When you say, right, home coming, I was like, come on, come on, let's do this. God. I like it. But, again. If an aging thrash band's gonna come back, they should be fucking firing all cylinders, but it's like a lot of mid paced kind of stuff. There's never really any fucking neck snapping shit on it. It's better than some fucking bones for the lyrics and shit. <laughs> fucking. Oh, turn a metal blade sack. There you go. Yeah, fucking. Because I got a new guitar player as well. Jason Rainey left. They got some young guy. Killer guitar player. Shit, choice in t shirts. He was wearing a fucking Nightwish t shirt, wasn't he? Unexcusable. Something else in here. Ooh, what could it be? Oh, that must be a post of the artwork. I forgot it was in here. Ha, ah, look. Fair, right? And then the fucking. That's a pretty neat poster, though. As usual, it'll get fucking folded up and forgotten of it. <laughs> That's just what happens, isn't it? So, no sacred rice. Great band. Now we'll do next. Then. Um, I'm doing these videos on the fly. My old man's buying stages now, so 
he's nipped away him to see what's happening. He's getting a new kitchen put in, so it's a wee bit for the day. Right. So, like, subscribe, fucking tell your mates. Uh, oh, I want to go crank some fucking music. Fuck it. Um, speak to you later.